I think that the um, this kind of reflex to hold back AI in in the policy area, especially in criminal justice, I think is uh, driven in large part by concerns about fairness. And I think that we do that without thinking about the fairness of the status quo. And so we've been doing, um, we have a, a paper that came out in the Quarterly Journal of Economics last year that I'll describe briefly for those of you whose QJE subscriptions lapsed somehow. <laughs> um, and so we got data from a large anonymous American city of 8.6 million people. And um, in this city, you can see that fully 90% of the people who judges are currently sending for pretrial detention are African American and Hispanic. In a city where the general population is not anything like 90% African American or Hispanic. So in discrimination law, they have this concept of disparate impact where a facially neutral, neutral process generates large, uh, very disproportionate harm against disadvantaged groups. So we showed that the judges, one of the reasons that the judges are detaining lots of people in general, they're detaining more people than they need to because they're substantially mispredicting defendant risk. And if we relied instead on the much more accurate predictions of defendant risk from an algorithm, you could reduce the jail population by 40% without any increase in crime. Right? That's the equivalent of being able to close the jail at the end of July every year without crime going up. And what's interesting about that is, you know, who disproportionately benefits when we can substantially improve a system that has enormous disparate impact? It is those disadvantaged communities that we most want to help. And so in some sense, you know, there's this underappreciated potential benefit if we can get the right rules and regulations in place to realize it, but there's this underappreciated potential benefit of AI to improve systems that are having disparate, disparate impact right now to create what you might think of as like a disparate benefit.